Jay Rosenswag joins us. He is with Rosenswag and Company, a Toronto-based executive recruiter. And uh, a lot of recruiters or, or a lot of executives in this country are uh, sometimes getting into something that they're not familiar with. Do they do the research, Jay, when they find these jobs? There's an issue there. Um, low-hanging fruit is a problem which for decades has, has uh, plagued, I think, the executive recruitment uh, industry. So when you're looking for search companies, uh, you should look for companies that have a proven methodology, who really understand uh, clients' unique needs and really can go the extra mile to find the best possible candidate for a position. So it doesn't need to necessarily be the search company that has the biggest list of contacts or specializes in a particular industry or geographic location. Often those issues are code words for low-hanging fruit. Um, so research is key in our view. Jay, is there a shortage of executives for this country? Or are, is it difficult to find the, the right executive for the right company and to match them up? Well, I would say there is definitely a quote-unquote war for talent out there, and, and Canada is naturally one of the battlegrounds. Um, but at the same time, uh, finding a CEO or a senior executive is always a challenge. Is that because we have a shortage of executives? Well, yes and no. It might depend, for example, on the sector. Uh, in the oil, gas, and natural resources sector, there is a sur sort of a deficit, I think, of executive cadres in Canada simply c because the sectors are so hot. So that is why, for example, in Al Alberta's oil patch, you know, companies might sometimes be forced to recruit from outside the country. But I think it's, it's very contextual, really. Jay, does that, uh, the fact that uh, there is a shortage out west, does that have a drain on executives in the eastern part of the, of the country? Uh, I mean, that's got to put a, make cities like Toronto and Montreal and, for that matter, uh, centers like Cornwall very attractive to, to recruiters for the west? Well, it might be, uh, although if specifically within that uh, ge geography there's a need for a kind of skill set that doesn't exist in the east, you may have to go to uh, other areas such as Texas. Uh, Jim Hook, uh, currently the CEO of Western Oil Sands, uh, relocated from Texas um, into Calgary uh, because he was intrigued by some of the uh, particular interests that company had, for example, in the lucrative Athabasca Oil Sands project in Alberta. So depending on skill set, you may not be able to go to the east for a particular uh, candidate. So it's real specific. And again, the research part of it um, is what's key. So when you're using an executive recruitment firm, you know, be sure that they have a methodology and that they're really researching out uh, this, this, um, this kind of assignment. Because our, our view is research beats the Rolodex virtually every time. Well, you have to stay on, on the ball, don't you? I mean, you really have to stay in touch with, the, with all industries. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and as I mentioned, it's, it's really not about specialization um, or, or being in a specific city. It's really about being out there, uh, understanding with the explosion of information that we have out there and with the desktop, frankly, that we have uh, on every one of our desks these days. Uh, it's not so much about not being able to find people because we can access people anywhere, anytime and communicate with people anywhere, anytime. It's really about understanding how to harness this, this unbelievable amount of information that we have out there. As an executive, what are, what's the one thing you need to know? Is, should you ask questions? Should you be informed? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's huge to understand what is behind the mindset of a client, what's, what's in the mindset of an executive recruiter. Many people don't realize that adaptability, for example, is, uh, is a skill set that's really important. Um, so somebody who is at a company for 20 years and historically may have been looked at as someone who's quite loyal uh, may be at a disadvantage to an individual who's spent five-year uh, careers in various sectors and, and various companies because the ability to, to adapt is one of the key skill sets I see in virtually every position profile. So there's a lot of questions that need to be asked and, and a lot of research that needs to be done, not only on our side, but really on the candidate side as well in terms of 
you know, what are the important skill sets out there? Jay Rosenswag of the Toronto-based executive uh, recruiters Rosenswag and Company. Jay, pleasure. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.